Hello guys and welcome back to Coyote Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out this game called Foundation. It is a great game from what I have seen. So if you hear the washing machine in the back, unfortunately there's no door on the kitchen because whoever designed this house is an asshole. Um, but um, it's a like I can't really explain it. It's like a free build type game like you just place down areas and they build it's a bit like sim city but no grids no nothing like that i absolutely love the game ah oh, yeah Let, let's go with a mountain start game but yeah so it's a uh, like um it's like a free flowing game so you just place down the areas stuff gets done and it's just kind of free flowing it isn't so intensive where you're having to constantly like, like SimCity where you're constantly having to go here, there, everywhere, making sure everything's running well. Like, this kind of just flows itself, so it's a lot calmer gameplay. I'd also say a little bit like Ostriv, in a way. Except with Ostriv, you're actually having to place your stuff. One minute, guys. I'm going to turn down this audio because Jesus Christ, it's loud. Ah, and I just quit the main menu because I'm an idiot. I will see you guys in a minute. And we're back. I am terribly sorry about that. It's like, f what the f fuck is that? Um, unfortunately, I kept clicking on the wrong map to go on to. Ooh, this is a nice place. Uh, these, this map looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass, but I like it. I wonder, can you go, you can probably go all the way up there and everything. This will be a great map to, like, you can probably have a keep up there or something as well. I'm going to enjoy this map, I think, guys, but there's no stone over here, so we don't want a place with stone. What we want is a bit... We have iron here. This is perfect place here. Uh, this might be a bit of an annoyance, but, yeah, we'll buy this plot of land, and then we have to place a village centre. So this is where everybody will gather. So where do we want a village centre? So this is going to be the centre of our town. This is where everybody will want to go. So I'm really tempted to go here and have production around here. So. Extract. So we definitely want to extract everything here. And everything here. Most likely, I'm going to give it a quick pause. As you can probably see in my top left corner, my... My PC is dying under this game. This game is way too powerful for my PC but oh well um, we'll extract here as well there are trees and there's some trees up here so we'll get these guys as well because we need them right now we got that going let's start getting some of our production so we want a gathering hut if we just get ourselves this, so if you hold down control, you can rotate your building. And we'll get that, like, right next door to it. About there. That'll look nice there. So we need a stone cutter. Uh, we'll get this guy. Uh, we won't get that tree demolished. We'll get about there. Then we'll need a well for people. And I'm so tempted to shove it there, but uh, we'll get a well, like, right in the centre of the city. And a lumber camp. Now, this lumber camp can probably make its little home. Uh, probably... Yeah, probably about there. Not going to look the prettiest, I don't think. So, we'll come into here now, and we'll make sure that everybody is a builder. Unfortunately, I do have to go and click on all of these guys, which is kind of annoying for me because I don't like having to do this. Uh, right, we'll get you as a builder. You as a builder. And we'll get Jake, Jacob. Jacob, you will be a builder as well. So we'll get that playing and we'll watch as these guys now build everything. They'll stand around for a minute. Really looking forward to get my hands on that iron as well. That'd be good. So, 
Once you've raised about 500, you can, as you can see, here's our budget tree. Once you've raised about 500, you can buy another plot of land. So this will probably be my next spot. If not, it'll probably be over here and I can have housing, like right here. Probably won't be able to do anything there, but either that or we'll take this place here and have some nice housing al along here as well. Ah, so there we go. We now have a lumber camp. So you need a lumber camp to actually produce people. So if we take off Henrik, and uh, probably, no, you're a female. Um, that sounded so sexist. Female can be log cutters. Uh, we'll take off these two and we'll get two wood cutters to start cutting down some of this wood. And there we go, we got a gatherer's hut now. So now we'll want a couple of gatherers. So you are a wood cutter. I would like to sort these by jobs, please. So, Elizabeth. Uh, love, you are going to... And you, you guys are going to become foresters. After all, these people need to eat. And stone cutters. So we'll get ourselves two stone cutters. One and Pierre, you are going to become a stone cutter. So that's one, two. So now we have two, 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 and then two builders, obviously. Ow, shit, I just burnt myself. Because I always do that. So now we need to build and set up a market. So what you need to do here is you need to come into here and here. Just click on market and then click food stall. You see a little bit there. So where do I want a food stall? Now I don't want it anywhere when production is. So I'm going to bring a food stall. But if we think our housing is going to go along here, we'll want to bring it somewhere around here for them. And then obviously you can get down here to get to the coast. So I'm going to put my food stall just around here. Probably bring it in a little bit. So that's where the food store is going to be. So people will now start walking off. As you can see, it has a natural path in. So as they walk to the place, they'll start to form paths. And see how she cuts down the area where the thing will be. So we'll probably have housing over here, housing everywhere where there's no trees. See, the trees are getting cut down so fast. Ah, it just, it, it, I, I find it so nice to watch this stuff get, like, taken out. And we'll take that out there. And even that out, because you know me, I like everything to be nice and even. Yep. I'll probably cut this down a little bit. There we go. And that looks perfectly fine to me. I love how people just walk through here. Obviously, we'll probably get a Look, all of our industry I do want to put all around here. Ah, so we have a market now, so if we come into here, we'll start selling berries here, and we'll find ourselves an available person. You, guess what? You are now a market trader. That was extremely loud. So, these market traders sell the goods to the people, and then the pe what the people do is they uh, get a new trade route. So we need a trade route. So let's have a little look over here. So we need 20 logs, 20 food, or 1,000 gold. So what do we need to do here? Hmm, polished stone. 
plans. So we'll start looking into that now. So what we need to do probably first is we want to get a sawmill going. So I want my sawmill. Right, if I can turn this to have its back against the cliff. I think that might look nice. And we now have a well right here in the middle. <coughs> so we unlocked the new zone. So we need residential now. So it's saying this area is not good enough to be built on. I think that's a false. I think this place would look nice with a nice house on it. Right, we don't want anything down here. So, we want to bring this in like that. And we'll get that across here as well. And a little bit around here. So that is the maximum area really that I want all that to be in. All here is going to be, ex we'll zone it all as extraction here, even though that there's nothing really here to be extracted, but then I know exactly where all the production buildings are going to be. So all of this is production. Right, we got, what? I forget what else we got just then. So we got some new teams. We got a wooden gate. But I am your humble servant, my lord. Um, so we have wooden gate, stone masons, warehouse. Uh, so the new thing here is a wooden gate. So we can build a bridge if we really wanted from here to across here, but that would take so much plank. So we're not going to do that for now. Another thing we can do is we can build a rustic church. Now, I'm not much of a churchy person, personally. So we'll leave that for now. So, as you can see, the people are currently setting up a... I forget the words now, because words do not come easily to my face. Um a sawmill over here so we can start getting some people uh, sawing up some logs and see we got our first house coming up now that will be perfect for the people because then they'll have somewhere to live um, so let's have a little look at our finances now so we have so as you can see we start selling, general spending is so expensive nowadays. And as these uh, as the happiness goes up, we'll start getting more people. So our next immigration will be in six days. So actually let's change the name of our village. We'll call this uh Coyoteville. No, uh Coyoteton. There we go. So everybody welcome to Coyoteton. Rule modifiers. Ah, so then I lack spacing for one villager. Nah, don't be worrying about that. Once this area clears up, there'll be enough space left. Alright? So what else do we need? So we definitely want to get uh, a stonemason so. And for that I'm thinking of having it just about here. So as you can see, we're concentrating literally everything around here. Now what, we don't need probably this many st stone cutters. So Jacob, you're going to be fired, mate. And we'll get ourselves another wood cutter. So we can cut down some more wood. Ah, right, what else do we need? We will definitely want to start looking into a warehouse, so we'll get a warehouse at some... Actually, we'll get that warehouse put up 
now to be fair with you because the sooner we have it the better it is and we'll get that just about there see how I'm concentrating all of my production in one area because I think it looks better like that to be fair with you we lack spacing for two villagers to have a house well, don't you be worrying about that mate that will sort itself out in a minute so we've got four days until the next people arrive once we get rid of this house here we can actually fill out here and we might be they might put a house like around here uh, let's actually have a little look at our zoning so this is our zoning so what we'll want to do is we'll want to get rid of here when they can and all of this can be residential Ooh, I thought I got rid of that nope I didn't the houses in this game look great I think uh, they shouldn't build onto the rocks but oh yeah I forgot did I zone up there oh uh, I really do like to have my territorial boundaries on so we'll also put residential either side up here as well and here not like you're going to be able to build that house there but it just I like cleaning up an area like this right as you can see it's not very desirable for a house here but they'll take what they're given and we'll clear everything oh I could even if we look over here could even take this place and have access to up here we can just zone here and then get rid of here and then probably zone up here and get rid of all here and the rest can become um, <coughs> the rest can become what I need it to be so let's have a little look at our budget so this month we made minus 47 with general spending but we are making a decent bit of money from just this I think this game absolutely looks beautiful well, looks absolutely beautiful it is one of the most beautiful games I think I've ever played. Shame my PC can't handle it very well because if it's 20 frames for me, you're probably pushing about 17, 18 frames in the recording. Over here, I mean, I could take this place and clear out here. But then I, I just don't think that would look too good. I need the, the the gold, I think. I definitely need the gold. As you can see here, you can buy this stuff here. Uh, once I've got 10 surfs. But there we go, our first house has been completed. It looks very nice, actually, up, up on the side of the mountain here. Well, that's what I think, anyway. Ah... <sighs> What a nice little game. The music is so relaxing as well. I wish, I don't know, I, don't, uh, I wish you could get like rent from these as well. So they build their house, they have to start paying rent to you. There we go, we got two new uh, villagers joining. So we can probably get ourselves a stonemason and a lumber. Um, a, a, a sawmill worker? I think, what, what would you call the person who works in here? Um, I'll tell you now actually. So we'll click on Jacob. So a carpenter. So having a carpenter will be nice. This area is almost cleared. So we can probably get our housing up here at some, uh, at some point. I think that would be a beautiful place for a house to go up. I mean, I would like this place to be chopped down at some point, but that's your preference, I suppose. And we completed the sawmill. So, Dominique, you'll, ha you'll have to wait, love, because we do need someone to work there. We have two foragers. Once this, where are these new people coming in from? 
we'll see the road where, it, where, it come, where they come in through. Want to get here anyway. Hardly doubt they're going to be coming from like somewhere stupid. But yes, this is a perfect place. Oh shit. <laughs> We got a nice uh, like little chasm in here. Oh, yep. This is where I want my castle right here. Um, right. Jesus, I'm getting lost already. Uh, I can't find where they're coming in through. What the hell is that? Oh, building completed a house again. We've got iron here. Uh, right. Can anybody spot where these people are coming from? I suppose we'll just have to wait to see where the road is. Because they create a small road as they come in, so... Right, let's zoom in now. Oh god, 21 FPS. So we've got a house here, a house here. I swear there was another house going up. Ah, right. Bonus. So, what we can do now is we can get rid of this, like so. Uh, right. Yeah. And we'll get residential in here now. go and that is a little bit more space for residential they might be able to get a house somewhere around here not sure though <coughs> where are these two new people where are they surely they should be here by now or maybe not where are you I can't for the life of me find them. Coming from up here? No. What about... I pan around a little bit to see if I can see them coming. No. Maybe they're not coming, maybe they've decided not to come after all. Slightly disappointed. I'd hope they come this way, but they would have been here by now if they did. But I suppose, oh well on that one. So, oh, so here we go, we're getting a new house built right behind the market. This is a great place for it. So, what do we need now? Well... I suppose what we can do now is we can probably take off Elizabeth you are now going to become a carpenter how much wood do you have in storage 24 wood so that's a good amount I lack space for one villager uh, right okay that's grand next one is in six days because our happiness is dropping a bit because there's not enough housing so what we do need to do is get the housing built up pretty fast but now i have a carpenter i can probably get ourselves a trade route set up and i definitely think this is the best one to go for And we'll get ourselves food stored up here. Building complete stonemason's lodge. Now unfortunately we can't use that until these people migrating here turn up. And I'm not sure if they even are going to turn up. Where are you? Oh, here. So right, let's follow the trail. Okay, you came from all the way up there. No wonder you took your sweet ass time to get here. 
So we'll get across here. I think the mountain could be slightly more rebalanced, but <laughs> because when when you look up and you see mountains like that, I'm just there like I'm never going to be able to build up there. But that, those hills are quite nice. Definitely nice indeed. Right. So as we have two more people coming in, we can get ourselves a stonemason. Actually, wait. Yeah, stonemason and a carpenter. So we'll get ourselves a stonemason and a brand new carpenter. So Jean and Elizabeth are our carpenters. But there isn't enough space for housing at the moment. Oh, okay. Ah, so we can unlock a wooden keep, a wooden wall, or a large stone wall. Now, I'm going to go with a keep. I like the look of a keep. So we've unlocked the new building over here. So if we come here, we now have a wooden keep available to us. Um... Okay, so now we need to build a wooden keep, but we're going to wait on that one now. We're going to wait until we can get a trade deal. Because a trade deal will probably be more profitable for us. So we have two stored away. We need 50. So it's going to be rather expensive for us. You know you could have just walked around, Rob. Just walked around. Would have been easier for you. But I think... And that's really it, that's all I'm going to be able to show you at the moment guys with my FPS dropping significantly and this game is just so beautiful. I wish there was a way to change, is it, can I change, can I hide my UI anyway? No I can't. So. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, go check out this game on the Steam work, uh, on the Steam store and pick it up. Maybe because if you are into these type of games, I highly suggest it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.